Hey guys, what's going on? Today I am going to talk about this Anker Solix portable power station and in this video I'll be sharing my hands-on experience with this product and giving you my overall thoughts. If you're considering getting one for yourself or just want to take a closer look, there is a direct link to its Amazon page in the description below. So, let's get right into it. Starting with the unboxing. The power station arrived well protected inside of two boxes and the first thing I noticed was its weight. It is a bit heavier than expected, weighing almost 29 pounds, but it make it more compact. I choose this one specifically because I love camping, and it is the perfect tool for my trips because of its features that I am going to dive more deeper during the video. Additionally, it comes in handy for powering my tools when there's no nearby outlet and even during power outages. Straight out of the box you'll find three cables. The first one is for charging the station through a regular outlet. The second is for charging it via your car's connection. And the third is for charging it with a solar panel. You'll also find the instruction manual included. It does not include the cable to connect to another similar power station to share battery in case you need it. Now, let's dive into the product's features. My first impression is that I love the design and all the materials feel durable and resistant. This power station comes equipped with six alternating current outlets, offering a total of 1800 watts max output power. It can go up to 2400 watts if you have it connected via surge pad. Additionally, it features two USB Type-C ports, one with 100 watts and the other with 30 watts, perfect for charging various devices. There are also two USB ports, each with 20 watts output, for charging smartphones or devices with a USB connector. For those who need it, there's a car port with 120 watts. The AC input to charge it can handle up to 1300 WL for charging the power station, and there's a solar input with a maximum of 600 W. A reset button is also included in case something goes wrong. The power station comes with a 1056 watt hour battery capacity and a port to expand the battery, which is a handy feature. Now, let's talk about how to use it. Each section has a button that you need to touch to activate that section. There are three sections, one for the car socket, another for the USB section, and the last one for the six outlet sections. You can activate them all at the same time, which is quite convenient. For my first test, I'm going to charge the power station to see how fast it charges. The cable provided is very flexible and strong, which is important because it needs to support up to 1300 watts. When you turn it on, it displays some useful information on the screen. It shows the remaining battery percentage, and, if you're charging it, it tells you how many watts it's using to charge the battery and how much time it needs to fully charge. Currently, it's at 29% and needs 0.9 hours to charge. If you're already using it, it shows how many watts it's using and how much time you have left with the connected devices. There's a yellow light on the top with three modes, it's not too bright to avoid blinding you, but it works well for its purpose. It also has an SOS mode that you can activate by holding down the button. One of the things I really appreciate about this power station is its ability to connect to your phone, allowing you to access real-time information and even more details than what's shown on the built-in screen. Here's how it works. To get started, you'll need to download the Anchor app, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. You can find the app by scanning the QR code provided in the instruction manual or by searching for it directly on your device's app store. Once you've downloaded the app, it will prompt you to create an account for registration. In my case, for the sake of making this video shorter, I skipped this step, but you can choose to create an account if you prefer. The app will also ask you to accept its terms and conditions. After this, the app will automatically start searching for your device via Bluetooth when it appears on your screen, simply tap on it. It takes about five seconds to establish a Bluetooth connection. However, you also have the option to connect the power station to your phone via Wi-Fi. Now, let's explore what you can do through the app. You have the ability to turn the top light on and off, and you can also control the screen. One impressive feature is the fast charging mode that you can activate through the app. It's important to note that this mode is recommended for occasional use as frequent use may affect the battery's lifespan. When I activated it, 
the power station was charging at 1300 watts per hour and only needed 36 minutes to reach a full charge. However, when I switched back to the regular charging mode, it used 900 watts and took 48 minutes to charge fully. Another useful feature is the ability to adjust the screen brightness and select how long it takes for the screen to turn off automatically. You can also choose the charging speed. By default, it's set to a maximum of 1000 watts, but you can lower it to 750 or 600 watts depending on your preferences and needs. As I delved deeper into testing the Anker Portable Power Station, I decided to put it through its paces with various electrical appliances. One of the most energy-consuming devices I chose was an electric water heater, which draws approximately 1380 watts. The power station handled the task exceptionally well, quickly heating the waiter and passing this test with flying colours. I did notice a slight increase in battery usage and a barely perceptible increase in fan noise, but it was hardly noticeable. This power station operates quietly, which is definitely a plus. Continuing with my tests, I connected a high-powered turbine fan plus the electric water heater that consumed around 1540 watts together. Surprisingly, the power station had no issues powering the fan, demonstrating its robust capabilities. However, I wanted to push it to the limits and see how it responded when pushed beyond its maximum 1800 watt rating. So, I plugged in a toaster that consumes over 1000 watts and as expected, the power station promptly halted and displayed an overload warning on the screen. It's important to highlight that this power station features surge protection and other safe features, ensuring safe operation even when handling demanding tasks. Throughout my testing, it performed well. I have yet to encounter any drawbacks or aspects I'd like to change. In comparison to other power stations I've used, this one stands out due to its impressive features and performance. It's worth mentioning that this power station is impressively compact. It measures approximately 12.5 inches in length at the base, around 11 inches in height, and a little over 7 inches in width. It's designed with convenience in mind, featuring two handles on top that make it easy to carry and maneuver. Additionally, it's equipped with two rubber bases on the bottom, ensuring stable placement wherever you choose to use it. To add to what I mentioned earlier, this power station truly offers a comprehensive package. It's versatile, reliable, and compact, making it an excellent choice for various scenarios, from camping to emergency backup power. It's equipped with a range of ports and features, providing the flexibility needed for different devices and situations. Finally, I'd like to touch on some additional options available with this power station. There are three variants that come with different solar panels. One with a 100 watt panel, another with a 200 watt panel, and the top tier option with a 400 watt panel. These solar options can further enhance the station's capabilities and sustainability. In conclusion, my experience with the Anker Solik C1000 portable power station has been very positive. It performed admirably in various scenarios, providing reliable power when needed. Its compact design, impressive features, and compatibility with solar panels make it a standout choice for those seeking a versatile and dependable power source. This power station has exceeded my expectations and is a strong contender.